brought to you by the Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality, the instructions for the collection and submittal of total coliforms. These samples must be received by the laboratory within 28 hours of collection. You may request a kit by contacting the State Environmental Laboratory by calling 1-866-412-3057, emailing us at selsd at deq.ok.gov, or you may request a kit in person from our sample management unit. When you receive your sampling kit, check the contents for the following. Sample collection bottles with intact sterility seals, barcode labels if you pre-logged your samples, chain of custody paperwork, and sample collection instructions. Step 1. Select a faucet for the sample collection. A typical bathroom style faucet is best. Avoid faucets with a swivel control. Also, do not sample from outside taps or frost-free hydrants. Step 2. Remove the aerator from the faucet spout. Most just unscrew or twist out. Step 3. Use straight bleach or alcohol to clean the faucet threads inside and out. You can do this by submerging the spout and then scrubbing the threads with a brush. Step 4. At a different faucet, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before collecting a sample. Step 5. Turn on the cold water at the faucet that you will use to collect the sample. Allow the water to flow for three to five minutes before sampling. Step six, open the sample collection container by removing the sterility seal. Do not touch inside the lid or bottle. This could contaminate your sample. Step seven, do not remove the white pill inside the bottle. This is a preservative. Carefully fill the bottle slightly above the 100 milliliter fill line indicated on the bottle. Step 8. Replace the cap and securely fasten. Try not to over tighten. This could break the lid. Step 9. If you received a barcode label, attach the label vertically on your sample bottle. If you did not receive barcode labels, Please write your name, the sampling location, and the date and time on the bottle with permanent marker. Step 10. Fill out the chain of custody paperwork in full for each sample. If your samples were pre-logged and you have barcode labels, you only need to fill out the areas indicated in these red boxes on the chain of custody form. The name of the person who took the sample and the date and time the samples were taken. If your samples were not pre-logged, you will need to fill out all the areas in these orange boxes. The customer name, phone number, and zip code, the name of the person who collected the sample, the address where the sample was collected, a description like bathroom sink or well faucet, the date and time collected, testing required is total coliforms. If you need to collect additional samples, repeat the previous steps for collection and paperwork. If you are mailing your samples to DEQ, you'll need to sign and date the bottom of the chain of custody paperwork on the line labeled relinquished by. If you are hand delivering the samples, the person delivering the samples will sign this at the receiving window of the sample management unit. If mailing your samples, place your chain of custody paperwork in a Ziploc bag. If the samples leak in transit, this will protect the paperwork. Put the bottles and the Ziploc bag of paperwork in the shipping container and mail it to DEQ as soon as possible. Address labels are provided with DEQ kits. If you are delivering your samples to DEQ, Bring your samples and paperwork to the sample management unit on the first floor. Our sample management hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. 
Just a reminder that samples must be received within 28 hours of collection, be properly filled no less than the indicated fill line, be accurately labeled with your barcode or permanent ink description, have complete paperwork, be accompanied with correct payment. You can call us or view the current fees on our website. Do not freeze the samples. Your samples may be rejected if they do not meet these criteria.